Hello there, welcome to the show Programmer Parent. Today I'm going to talk to you about choosing yourself when the area of the gatekeepers has diminished tremendously. You probably grew up when gatekeeping around assets meant a lot, like getting picked for publishing your book, getting picked to be in a TV movie episode, something, getting picked for that job, getting picked for that education or going to a special, specific university and stuff like that. And that is still there, that is still important. But a lot of these organizations are veining because you do still have traditional TV media, but most of the audience has already moved on from there. So you're left with people who quite often, frankly, my opinion, aren't aware that there are better options available for them where they can choose what they want to learn. Or, or studies online, you have so many courses online today, so you can learn everything you want if you just pick yourself. And that means you and I, we grew up not daring to pick ourselves, standing in line waiting to be picked. And, and right now we are in this limbo where the gatekeepers has lost a lot of its powers and people who pick themselves skyrocket. So how can we make your kid one of those? If they want to become successful and happy within the gaming career of their choice, how can we help them pick themselves? Right now we have a game window of a couple of years where picking yourself is a lot easier than it will be soon because soon everyone will realize that the game gatekeepers don't hold the power they used to or assets can be built that and i'm not saying when talking about picking yourself i'm not saying it's going to be easy i'm not saying it's going to be instant but i'm talking about figuring out what kind of assets really really matter quite often once again we're talking about a shift here you probably don't understand how my much likes means for them, how much Instagram's interaction means for them, how, how much appearance means. That for me is not being picked. Being picked is building something where it matters. You don't know if you're building it on another platform and once again all social media is another platform. Someone else controls that and can do whatever they want with the algorithm or what's there or direct traffic or inflate likes that's in the news right now with Facebook and choosing to pick yourself is creating something of value to someone else and then having it on a place that they control. And how can you help your kid do that? Well, first of all, it's not being too distracted by social media yourself but and actually helping them realize that it's better to have a blog post and crickets than hunting likes on a platform that doesn't matter in the long run what, what all my successful friends tell me is that they have podcast episodes 10 years ago that still they track revenue back to they uh, I have friends who say well this blog post that's from the 2010 still generate new visitor in abundance that then move on to this thing so and and you never hear something on the social media platforms it's all like i saw this earlier today and then they can't show me because they can't find that post again so do help them build something that they can control and it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be beautiful, but picking yourself is daring to embrace what I call the public draft. What is daring to work with, uh, this is what I'm learning, daring to share the journey and be vulnerable, set healthy boundaries, but say, well, I'm experimenting with this, I'm trying this, this is what I'm working. 
Um, Derek Sivers has a, I think it's DerekSivers.org, he says, this is what I'm working on right now. So there, to show the world I'm working on leveling up. I'm sharing this, shipping this. And it could be that you might be the better writer and they the better gamer. So perhaps you can help them. Can we put this up to a uh, PDF document and then put that online for helping other people become a better gamer? Sure, Twitch and streaming. There's so many platforms right now that's extremely easy to start use. But are they also building something of sustainable value for the long run? If that platform gets bought up, if that platform gets changed, once again, don't underestimate the power of the algorithm. They, they change in a lot of places daily. So what can they build alongside? I'm not saying we shouldn't use these platforms because I really believe in them too. But what can we you? How can you help your kid choose themselves, not wait for a gatekeeper, not wait to be found on a platform, but embrace shipping anyway, even daring to risk what 99% of us encounter, the cricket song. We put it up, no one cares, yawns. And quite often we get negative feedback from the few people who actually look at it because they're friends trying to help. How can we sh keep shipping anyway? How can we figure out how they can dare to keep shipping that anyway? And once again, picking yourself is about serving others. It's not just, I want to sit here playing games, but how can they, whatever they learn, how can they share that so other people grow as well? That's how they will be successful. Not just sitting on the butt and playing a game. Just like any other part of life. Picking yourself means picking yourself. I'm, I'm going to turn pro. And by turning pro, it means I'm helping others level up too. Right now, it's urgent. The game it has totally changed a couple of years ago with the gatekeepers powers diminishing soon the world will adapt so trying to encourage your kid today to start shipping sharing something that helps someone else stay and how can you give them a hand i'm not saying you should do it for them it must come from them it must be intentionally from them but how can you give them a lending hand if they struggle technically if they struggle with writing if they struggle with courage be vulnerable yourself we all struggle with courage in different parts of life and ship anyway keep and in on your own platform something you control quite often that means something you pay for and once again i'm not saying you should pay a fortune but a few dollars a month perhaps for a platform that you control instead of putting it only on someone else's platform that's easily liquidized to something else that they have no control over or once again quite also they chase the numbers that doesn't really matter because and even like i i heard ninja for example on twitch he's a great guy he's really really a role model for a lot of people and he said he i can't not talk about my stuff on my channel because my subscription is sky dropping so i'm creating a new channel where i can talk about the things that is valuable for me right now and that's the power of picking yourself and creating something that's yours. Then you can attract the tribe, the audience, the community that your kid cares about. Because then they can do what they want to do in order to serve them. They don't have to follow the structure that is pre-built in any social media platform out there. So, sorry for the rant, but once again, it's about picking ourselves because the gatekeepers, they're not as powerful as they used to be. And soon, it will change for the better and let's help our kids be ahead of the wave instead of trying to swim with the wave. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.